Now, this hadith points out to us the signs of an Imam Mahdi radiallahu an, which states, Abdullah bin Hawala radiallahu an, al-Azdi, Azdi radiallahu an reports, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam placed his hand on my head and said, O son of Hawala, when you see the Caliphate has reached the sanctified land, Al-Quds. Now some people said this refers to the time of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an. Others have said it is regarding the Abbasiyun. Others have said regarding Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi. Whichever it may be, it also refers to Sayyidina Al-Imam Mahdi radiallahu an that he will take Al-Quds back from Al-Yahud, from the Jewish state of Israel. And it's, but the state will only be finished in the time of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. And it's, it states, there has drawn near earthquakes, meaning earthquakes will increase. So after Al-Imam al-Mahdi will appear, earthquakes will increase more after he appears. Difficulties and great matters. The hour at that time is closer to people than my hand to your head. Because the narrator says that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa had his blessed hand on his head. This is Al-Quds al-Sharif. Al-Quds al-Sharif. Al-Masjid al-Aqsa. This is Al-Masjid al-Aqsa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve it and bring it back to the Muslims. Okay, here the despotic rulers who will precede the appearance of Imam Mahdi will have, be, will, will have people killed for saying Allah, Allah. Muhammad bin Hanafiya who is the son of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu an, not from Sayyidatuna Fatima radiallahu anha, from another wife of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu an. Reports from his father and our master Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, when he was asked regarding the appearance of Imam Mahdi, he, sh he said, he shall appear at a time when a man says, Allah, Allah, he will be killed. This is narrated by Imam al-Hakim al-Mustadra. We have a, Example of this in our time. Now, these are Syrian soldiers from, from the Alawi sect. They're calling him an animal. And the Muslim who is buried here, he says, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. And they tell him to say, La ilaha illallah, and the name of the president. So when he says, La ilaha illallah, they, they keep saying to him, Say, La ilaha illa and the name of the president. So he is killed for that. So play the full video. The full video shows that they cover his head with sun and he dies. So this sign has taken place. Okay, now this is referring to the time of Imam Mahdi radiallahu an, which mentions Three people will kill over your treasure. Each one of them will be son of a Khalifa, none of them will attain it. Some scholars like Al Imam al Barzanji in Al Isha' Ali Sharat al Sa'a mentions that the treasure which is meant by this hadith is the treasure of the Euphrates River which will be exposed. The ruler of that region will die, and then the sons of that ruler will fight over that treasure. None of them will attain the treasure. This is one of the signs of the appearance of Imam Mahdi. And this hadith from the Sunan of Abu Dawud, which states, عَنِ النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلْمُ قَالَ يَكُونُ اِخْتِلَافٌ عِنْدَ مَوْتِ خَلِيفَةٍ فَيَخْرُجُ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْمَدِينَةِ هَارِبًا إِلَى مَكَّةَ فَيَأْتِيهِ نَاسٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ مَكَّةَ فَيُخْرِجُونَهُ وَهُوَ كَارِهٌ فَيُبَايِعُونَهُ بَيْنَ الرُّكْنِ وَالْمَقَامِ وَيُبْعَثُ إِلَيْهِ بَعْثٌ مِنَ الشَّامِ فَيُخْسَفُ بِهِمْ الْبَيْدَاءِ بَيْنَ مَكَّةَ وَالْمَدِينَةِ فَإِذَا رَأَى النَّاسُ ذَلِكَ أَتَاهُ أَبْدَالُ الشَّامِ وَعَصَائِبُ أَهْلِ الْإِرَاقِ فَيُبَايِعُونَهُ بَيْنَ الرُّكْنِ وَالْمَقَامِ ثُمَّ يَنْشَأُ رَجُلٌ مِنْ قُرَيْشٍ أَخْوَالُهُ كَلْبٌ فَيَبْعَثُ إِلَيْهِمْ بَعْثًا فَيَظْهَرُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَذَلِكَ بَعْثُ كَلْبٍ وَالْخِيبَةُ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَشْهَدْ غَنِيمَةَ كَلْبٍ فَيَقْسِمُ الْمَالَ وَيَعْمَلُ فِي النَّاسِ بِسُنَّةِ نَبِيِّهِمْ صلى الله عليه وسلم ويلقي الإسلام بجيرانه إلى الأرض فيلبث سبع سنين ثم يتوفى ويصلي عليه المسلمون. This hadith in the Sunan of Imam Abu Dawud who has 
Kitab al-Mahdi within the Sunnah states, disagreement will occur at the death of a caliph. Now, the word Khalifa here does come in the meaning of a ruler. It does not come in the meaning of the technical Khalifa. Hizl al-Tahrib interpret this to mean the Khalifa should return, the Caliphate should be restored at the hands of Hizb al-Tahrir of course, and then one of their Khudafa will die and then Al-Imam Mahdi will appear. But I can prove from Hadith literature that this refers to a ruler, but that is not the subject of today's lecture. And a man of the people of Medina, so this shows Al-Imam Mahdi before he appears, many wars will take place. Then, the Euphrates gold will be uncovered. People will fight over the Euphrates gold. Then, three sons of a king will die fighting over that gold. Then, civil war will ensue, and a man from the people of Al-Madina will come fleeing to Mecca. Some of the people of Mecca will come to him, bring him out against his will, and swear allegiance to him between the corner, a ruk meaning the corner of the black stone and the station meaning of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now, I place this special to Israel, beware of the three princes, because of the three sons of a king will die. Okay, here is an old picture of Safa mountain, of that region, a Safa, a Safa and Marwa. And this is Safa today. So, in the hadith it states, Al-Imam Mahdi will be on Safa mountain. And from Safa mountain, he will be taken to this area between Abruk and Maqam. The Maqam is where the footprints of Sayyidina Ibrahim are kept, and Abruk is the corner of the black stone. Sayyidina Imam al Mahdi, the allegiance will be given to him in this region, in this area. And the rest of the hadith states an expeditionary force will then be sent against him from Greater Syria, Sham. But he will be swallowed. But it will be swallowed up in the desert between Mecca and Medina. And the area is Bayda. The area is known as Bayda. When the people see that, the eminent saints of Syria, Abdal, these are saints, known as the Abdal, and the best people, Asaib of Iraq, will come to him. And some have said that the Asaib is a group of Oliya also, and swear allegiance to him between the corner of the black stone and the station of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. So, Al-Imam al-Barzanji also mentions this as one of the signs of Al-Imam al-Mahdi, that an army will be swallowed up in the desert. So until the army is not swallowed, no one can claim to be a, being Al-Imam al-Mahdi radiallahu anh, and we should not entertain such people. Here is a map of the Arabian Peninsula. From here, you have Harrat al Khaybar. And here's Al Medina al Munawwara. The valley that is referred to is here. This region. All this region. And the army will come from Sham. It will march and it will reach this region and be swallowed. The army will be swallowed. This is one of the def definitive signs of Al Imam al Mahdi. So when people ask, is Al-Imam Al-Mahdi coming next year in Hajj? We should not entertain that. Because the Hadith has told us when he shall appear. We should mention that the Hadith mentions he shall appear when an army will be swallowed in the Arabian Peninsula. We should mention that Al-Imam Al-Barzanji mentions that he will appear after the Euphrates gold appears. These are the clear definitive signs of Al-Imam Al-Mahdi radiallahu anh. And until these signs are not fulfilled, we await the coming of Imam al-Mahdi radiallahu anh and the signs to be fulfilled showing the truthfulness of the prophecy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. With me I have a narration from uh, the fitan of Nu'aym bin Hammad which has a description of this army and what will happen. I did not place it but the narration is in the hadith number 934 in the book of Nu'aym bin Hammad. It states from Sayyidina Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhumah yaqulu 
يبعث صاحب المدينة إلى إلى الهاشميين بمكة جيشا فيحزموهم فيسمع بذلك الخليفة بالشام that the ruler of Medina will send out after the Hashmiyyin, meaning the descendants of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, showing al Madinah al Munawwarah at that time will not be ruled by Al Manul Mahdi. The ruler of al Madinah al Munawwarah will send out people to Mecca al Mukarramah after al Imam al Mahdi, radiyallahu an, because al Imam al Mahdi, radiyallahu an, after the death of the three princes, will move. To Mecca al mukarramah the leader of the Medina al Munawwarah will send out people after him. And the leader of Sham, now it states, فَيَسْمَعُ بِذَلِكَ الْخَلِيفَةُ Sham. The Khalifa in Sham will hear about this. Now Khalifa here refers to Sufyani. Sufyani is the power that will come into power in Syria who will be a disbeliever. He will commit fornication with a woman openly in the masjid. In the Bani Umayyah Masjid, the Umayyad Masjid, this is mentioned by Al Imam Barzanji. So he will be an open disbeliever. Yet he is referred to as Al Khalifa here. But the word Al Khalifa here means ruler. The ruler of Syria will hear this. He'll send an army. He'll send an army to this region, Al Bayda. They will come at a night when the moon will be full. So when they arrive, the moon will be full. أقبل الراعي ينظر إليهم ويعجب ويقول يا ويح أهل مكة ما أصابهم. A shepherd shall come, and he will be surprised, and he would say, "Woe to the people of Mecca in the sense that what is going to happen to them? This army is." Marching to Mecca al Mukarramah. Then he shall return back to his sheep. Then he will return and he will not see anyone. That they will be swallowed up, but he will not know. You will say, Glory be to Allah, they traveled in one hour, meaning this army is gone. فَيَأْتِي مَنْزِلَهُمْ فَيَجِدُ قَطِيفَةً قَدْ خُسِفَ He will go to the area where they were and he will find them that they have been swallowed. بِبَعْدِهَا وَبَعْدُهَا عَلَى ظَهَرِ الْأَرْضِ Some of them will be swallowed, some of them will be on the top of the earth. He will try taking them out and then he will know that the earth has swallowed them. Then he will go to the ruler of Mecca al-Mukarramah who will be by then Al-Imam al-Mahdi رضي الله عنه. And he will inform him and give him the glad tidings. Now it states in other narrations that two men will survive from the army. One will go back to Syria to inform Sufyani what has happened, and the other one will go back to Al Madina uh, to Mecca Al Mukarramah to give the glad tidings to uh, Al Imam Al Mahdi. So one will bear glad tidings and one will bear bad tidings. After this, Al Imam Al Mahdi radiAllahu an will rule this region and then rule the region of Syria and conquer. Al Quds Sharif. After the conquering of Al Quds Sharif, in the seventh year he shall conquer Constantinople. All these events yet have to transpire. <coughs> okay, this is an aerial shot of that region. The aerial shot is showing you some regions around Al Madinah to Munawwara to show you that those regions are volcanic. And I mentioned to you at the beginning that a fire appeared in the sixth century of Islam, 656, and the fire covered the surrounding areas of Al-Madinah al Munawwara, so volcanic areas. This shows that that region has the potential to swallow people. And this will happen because they will be swallowed by this. It will be a natural disaster caused by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reason why I placed this map is two groups of people will be involved in strengthening and helping Al Imam Al Mahdi radiallahu an. One will be the people of Al Hijaz, and the second will be a group from Khurasan. And Khurasan is this region, some of it in Afghanistan, some of it in Iran. It has these regions in it, for instance, Sabzavar. Sabzavar 
we all know, well, so we studied the text Sabzawari in Mantiq, Mantiq text in uh, Dars al-Gizami. The author of that is from Sabzawar here. And you all know Mashhad. Mashhad. Mashhad is a famous city in uh, Khurasan. And then you have Haydariya. And you have uh, Kashmir. You have Firdaus. You have Birjand. We know of the name Birjandi. The region, these are the name, famous names of scholars. These regions are Sunni regions. Wow. Traditionally, they are Sunni regions. Many Sunni ulama come from these regions. This region, by that time, by the appearance of Imam Mahdi, will have many supporters for Imam Mahdi. These are the black banners that are mentioned. These are the black banners that are mentioned, that the black banners will come from this region. And the black banners are mentioned in two different events. One is the black banners of Bani Abbas. The black banners of Bani Abbas are mentioned by Imam al-Barzanji are not the black banners that will come in support of Imam al-Mahdi. The black banners in support of Imam al-Mahdi will come from this region of Khurasan. And the people who will support Imam al-Mahdi, we do not know of currently. But when the time will come, the people of the world will know. So we should not jump onto theories that different organizations belong to those black banners until that time actually happens. But we do know it will be from this region. And there will be many hundreds of people and pious people. Next to that region, we have this region of Asfahan. Can you see this region? Asfahan. Okay, from Asfahan, the hadith, I placed a hadith from the Sahih of Imam Muslim that it is mentioned that from Asfahan the Jal will have 70,000 followers from the Yahud from Asfahan from this region 70,000 so this shows that Iran the way it is today will change by then and this region already has many Yahud many Jews and in Asfahan, there is an area known as Yahudiya, the Jewish area. And in the hadith of Abdullah bin Sayyad, it has been mentioned. But this region, 70,000 Jews will come to support the Dajjal and they will be wearing shawls at tayalisa Now shawls at tayalisa a bit like what the Saudi culture promotes, they are not haram, they are permissible. Even Sunni ulama wear them sometimes. But... The Yahud have their own specific type, which is this. They will be wearing 70,000 70, of them wearing these shawls. This is an Asfahani shawl. Some people tried misinterpreting this, but this is the actual shawl. And in other hadith, it mentions that the shawl shall be green. But this is an Asfahani shawl. Now, a few more things I want to cover before we finish is. This hadith narrated by Muhammad bin Ali. Who is Muhammad bin Ali radiallahu anhu? This is Imam al-Baqir, the, fa- the son of Zayn al-Abidin. Zayn al-Abidin radiallahu anhu is the one who survived Karbala. He mentioned in the Sunan of Imam al-Dar Qutni. And this has been copied from the Sunan. I translated it myself. Surely for our Mahdi, meaning from the Mahdi of the Alul Bayt, from the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, are two signs that have never happened since the creation of the heavens and the earth. The moon will be eclipsed in the first night of the month of Ramadan, and the sun will be eclipsed in mid-Ramadan. This has not happened since Allah has created the heavens and the earth. The Sunan of Al-Imam al Now, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani tried using this sign for himself. But the problem is that it did not occur in the first of Ramadan, it occurred in the middle of Ramadan. The lunar eclipse happened in the middle of Ramadan and the solar eclipse happened at the end of Ramadan. While the hadith states, well the Athar, it's an Athar of the Arul Bayt. We won't discuss the authenticity of it, but just to refute, even if we accept this hadith, which scholars have, like Al-Imam Al-Hafid Ibn Hajar Al-Haytami and Al-Imam Al-Barzanji have accepted it. But analyzing this, 
the lunar eclipse will happen in the first month, part of the month of Ramadan. And the solar eclipse will happen in the mid-Ramadan. For Mirza Ghulam, it happened, the lunar eclipse happened in the middle of Ramadan. It went pear-shaped for him. And in the end of Ramadan, he claimed later, he tried explaining himself. He wrote a book. I think the book is called Nur Yaqeen. He tried explaining himself, saying that what is meant by this is that the first part of Ramadan where an eclipse is possible because a lunar eclipse is impossible in the beginning of Ramadan. So this means in the beginning of Ramadan when a lunar eclipse is possible. So he made a far-fetched interpretation. The scholars refuted him, but sufficient to say if the followers of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad claim he is the Mahdi because of this narration, then why has not the Euphrates dried? and a mountain of gold appeared, why has not the army of Syrians been swallowed in the Arabian desert? Why have not three princes died fighting for the gold of the Euphrates? Why has not the Bay'ah been given to him allegiance between the corner of the black stone and between the station of Sayyidina Ibrahim and many other signs? This is one of the reasons for mentioning these signs. This is an eclipse that will happen insha'Allah. Now, these are the last two frames which I will finish just to let you know that there may be a part two to this lecture. This palace is what they term as the palace of Dajjal, built on the outskirts of Al Madinah to Munawwara. This palace. It's on the outskirts of Al Madinah to Munawwara. And this has been foretold by the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam in the Hadith in the Musnad of Imam Ahmad on the authority of Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an. And with this I will finish to say that this topic as you have noticed is deeper than we think. So inshallah in the coming months another lecture like this will be delivered covering Ya'juj and Ma'juj and Dajjal, specifically these two, and the rule of Al Imam al Mahdi, these three things. You can say this was a preliminary to build up for the main part. The topic of Al Imam al Mahdi radiallahu an, and the rule of Al Imam al Mahdi radiallahu an. The appearance and identity of Dajjal. I will present things which maybe many people have not said before in a public lecture. But they do exist in books, so I'm not innovating. They exist in the books. And inshallah, the identity of Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and whether are they the Europeans or not. Because throughout this lecture, I have avoided the question purposely to show you that the European global uh, culture or the anglo judeo Christian culture can be explained solely through the hadith without any reference to Ya'juj and Ma'juj as for the identity of Ya'juj and Ma'juj inshallah we will cover it in the coming months and you will have to wait until the announcement of when that event will take place and inshallah the slides and the preparation will be even better inshallah جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ما هو أهله جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ما هو أهله جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ما هو أهله سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين